Hello and welcome to our program viewers. My name is Israel Tajomao. You are welcome to our program, Marriage and the Home. I want to appreciate all of you that have been uh, watching this our program. I want you to stay connected, continue to watch, because there's a whole lot we are going to unveil on this uh, in this program. Um, in our last episode, we looked at our learning objectives. That is why we are doing this program. What is it we hope to learn from this program? Today, we want to talk about marriage itself. What is marriage? We want to know what marriage is. Uh, we've been saying a lot of things about marriages, the challenges of marriage and all that. But we want to know what marriage is in the real sense. And to do that with me, I have uh, an eminent personality in the house, uh, a minister of God with the Church of Christ. His name is uh, Olatunde John. He's our big daddy. Uh, he's a bundle of experience because uh, he's been married for many years and uh, with a lot of children and grandchildren. I can say that God has really blessed him. And uh, as uh, a man of God, he has really devoted uh, uh, his time to serving God. Let us welcome our daddy to the home. Brother Latunde, you are welcome, sir. Thank you very we are much. We are happy to have you in this program. It is a pleasure. You are welcome. You. Thank you very much. So, uh, we want to tap from your experience. You've been on this journey of marriage for so many years. And the first thing I think I should ask, how old is your marriage? How long have you been married? Thank you very much. To God be the glory. We have been on the journey for the past uh, 40 years now. 40 years? Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Thank that you is a much. good one. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes. So, the journey, it was, uh, we started in a very uh, simple way. Because in those days, uh, during the time of our fathers or when the fathers are still living, yes. most of the time when they want to marry for their son, yes. they are the ones that do formalize everything. When they see somebody, a lady that is even beautiful, that they want such a lady for their son, but my own is not like that because uh, the father was no more when the time oh. comes. Really, I school at uh, St. Joseph Technical School at Duikiti. Okay. In which uh, the house we are living, yes. because, because it's because of this monetary aspect, yes. we are not living in the hostel. Okay. We are living very close to the hostel. Okay. But however, it is a thing of joy that uh, the family that very close to that very place, they are selling all the little, little things that the students are buying. Okay. Kuli kuli bread and so on and so forth. Mm. So when I visited the place, I saw my wife to be because in that time I so loved that eh, this very radiant face that I saw. Uh, that time we don't even uh, have the opportunity to talk. Wow! It is fair. Fair. We lost. Yes. yes. And uh, send the junior one to go and give the letter when we. Goes there to go and buy our usual bread and kuli kuli. Great. Just, so, just a moment, Daddy. This is beautiful. Daddy has just told us how he met mommy. You know, it's an interesting uh, story. Uh, what we want to know now, when you saw mommy, you knew she was the one. Surely. Great. Because yes. of what? The way I saw the family, I shared them a lot. You see, the family also matters. I cherish them a lot. Yes. My late father-in-law and the mother-in-law. In fact, the way they are doing is just like uh, they are from the same uh, womb. Wonderful. Because they are so polite, they are so hospitality and everything. Yes. So I cherish them that if I grow old, I want my family to be in this way. Okay. So also I have a brother then that was at a Yes. They call him uh, Fatty. Okay. So this very brother as well is a family from my village. Okay. Himself and the wife, the way they are playing together, yes. is so 
interesting. Oh, so wonderful. that uh, I'm praying to God that uh, when it will reach my own time, Fine. yes, I'm looking for this type of uh, experience. So wonderful. And God actually bless us. Oh, okay. So during the time of writing letter together, uh, either you agree or you do not agree, mm -hmm. it was not instantly. Yes. So after so many letters writing. When it's now say okay, I was highly pleased. Wonderful. But during that time, I was preparing to write my final exam to leave uh, the no. town. I mean, a day between. Yes. So with uh, my junior ones, who actually parents, they are very poor. The money is not there. Mm. So they are saying that uh, those people going to technical school is the poor people because they will go and learn mm. and learn a trade. Yes. Because the money they are paying was not much, like a grammar school, secondary school in that time. So when I left the, the town, I came to Lagos. So it was that letter that we are writing to each other. So luckily enough, during this program, it got admission to teacher's training college, a career equity. Okay. So we continue exchanging letters. letters. It was letters we are writing. You see, that was the time uh, of letter writing. Uh, uh, it's not today when you send email uh, uh, or make phone call. All uh, those things were not there now. We reply this each is other. the raw deal. Uh, uh, yes. Before at all, the reply will come. It may be either a month or two. Yes. So I now have the confidence because of my junior one that are schooling there. Mm -hmm. They do not or they did not allow any boy Yes. to interfere and say they are coming to my wife to be yes. because uh, they <laughs> gave her that stamp mm -hmm. that is uh, Yemi belonged to their brother wonderful so that was how <laughs> everything was going smoothly yes so when I'm only there on leave I visited the family I greet everybody I come back to my village or yes so all this process it now happened when she finished her teacher training college. Mm. It was then that uh, all the family could sit down together and uh, precisely where they transfer to after the teaching. Mm. Yeah, my father-in-law is late, quite all right, but he was a retired uh, army officer and police as well. Oh, okay. So he said the village they transfer Yemi to, he don't want her to go to that place as a single lady. Okay. So because of that, it's someone mean that uh, actually, the other if he does that uh, yourself and your wife to be actually agree to each other, in which we have agreed, everybody has known. Mm. My family has been visiting them mm. all the time, but there is no way of uh, staying together. together yes. So it was that that arrangement come quickly. Yes. Prepare because uh, the letter dated the transfer letter was uh, dated the first November. 1982. Okay. So all the arrangements now come together because the father didn't want her to go and take that appointment. Okay. So it's better we do all the necessary formation okay. and familiarity and everything. Okay. So the engagement, everything, we summon everything together, in which we did on the 18th. Today is 18th now oh, of wonderful. November. It's a wonderful, wonderful. It's a wonderful. Can you, imagine? you know, we are about to celebrate, but we are putting everything one after the other. Oh, okay. Because I'm proposing of uh, by the grace of God. Oh, yes. Because everything is in the hand of God. Yes. That is, uh, by January 1, we don't want to bother our children and yes. grandchildren yes. to come down. That yes. is the reason why we are postponing that uh, arrangement of Thanksgiving yes. and uh, celebration to the 1st of January oh. by the grace of God. Congratulations. I'm praying that God will spare my way. life to that very day, yes. which I be 70 yes. years on this planet. Yes. So, the I chief in my local government came. All my friends, everybody will come together with all those things that we carry for the uh, all those things that they requested. Yes. In which money is there, mm -hmm. bag of salt, and so many things that okay. uh, they are, went there with all those things. That is the bag of salt and all those things. And so everything. Oh, okay. Carry everything for down. the traditional. For the traditional oh, marriage. Okay. So we are not actually saying that uh, the church uh, appears. It yes. was the family. Family affairs. The father was stand. 
as uh, the high priest that is given the daughter okay. to the husband. And that very time, the way they are doing it is that uh, the father, after we nail down in front of him, yes. he prayed okay. for us. That this very journey that we are going, he prayed the way God has given yes. him the utterances to, to pray for the daughter going for another house. Okay. And as well, after everything, the high chief, high chief uh, Simon Langboye, yes. is late as well. Okay. So, the one that stands as a best man, the one that we come together, is the, now the high chief in my community, yes. which is uh, Joseph Sunday okay. Agbaje. Okay. All the necessary thing, the clothing, everything, is the one that is charge of everything that do, did everything. So, in the course of all this, after the ceremony, it was uh, for my father-in-law. He didn't hand it over Yemi to me directly. Yes. He handed her to our father. That okay. is the one that led the entourage right. and okay. that uh, ceremony. Yes. Which is uh, our lead pa Simon Nifadi Bambuye. He sorry, was sorry, sir. So you can see from what daddy is saying here now. Marriage involves two families. Like he said, the wife was handed over to the family, to the head of their family who led them on this uh, exercise. Thank you, Daddy Gong. So, uh, the, our daddy that came from my own side also prayed in his own uh, way as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, after the prayer of my father-in-law, mm -hmm. everybody started eating and the jam and mm -hmm. so many other type of food. Okay. And the dancing, you know, the joy in all those things was that uh, within that area, mm -hmm. it was then that uh, my mother-in-law continued calling the junior girls within the area mm -hmm. to continue carrying the, they will put it in the tray, continue distributing it to all the members of the community mm -hmm. at Adoikiti within that area. Uh, to read the water was that time. No. My brother, in a nutshell, all the arrangement was that uh, when I saw my baby, that I appreciated her, that is, uh, I, this is the person that I'm going to make as uh, my better half. So the introduction came in. Introduction. And uh, the marriage ceremony, marriage in which ceremony. we carry everything that we're supposed to carry. Okay. And the father blessed the marriage. Great. There is no any other party. No bishop, no catechist, no any other thing. Yes. He was the one that blessed us, that say we should go in peace, that we have all the children that uh, God has said uh, put before us. Oh. And uh, that was the end. So, thank you very much. So we can see that daddy got married in the traditional way. Uh, today, so many of us get married in traditional way. We still go to court, we still go to church. Uh, some of all these things are repetition. But Daddy did his own in the traditional way. And I want to ask Daddy, how has the journey been? Well, to go be the glory as a fellow said, it's God that is uh, uh, piloting the journey. Okay. We have up and down, mm -hmm. but uh, there is one thing that we should know, that if someone has the fear of God, yes. everything will be working fine, okay. no matter be the situation. You know, initially we are not a member of Church of Christ. So, so many ways. Okay. You know, marriage uh, entails so many things in the sense that uh, there is no way that is uh, mouth and teeth, they even buy themselves yeah, and yeah, uh, nobody. <laughs> because uh, all the journey, as I say, is up and down. Yes. My wife is a God fearing person. Yeah. And also, God is leading us in a way that uh, if anything happens, nobody, no third party that knows what oh, actually yeah. happened within us. Okay, thank you very much, Daddy. You can see, Daddy has said it, that usually in a marriage there are challenges, but you work it out and you draw closer to God. Without God in your marriage, it will not work. Now, Daddy, I want to ask, with your experience and all that is happening in the world today, sometimes we get confused what the meaning of marriage is. What can you say is the meaning of marriage? Yes, God knows that a marriage is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. That is, it is the union yeah. between male and female. All right, that the is, union between male and female. That yeah. is the 
what God actually puts in place, in place okay. not the one that we are seeing in the world today. Okay. Anything uh, beyond that, it yes. is foul, it is failure, it is okay. not the will of God. Okay. So the will of God is the, the union between a male yeah, and female. And female. That is Thank you very much. So you can see that is the definition of marriage, is the union between a male and female. Well, any other thing that you are doing, you know yourself. Now, there is something uh, that happens a lot that we see all over. Uh, some young people, they begin to cohabit without, you know, doing the necessary rights of marriage. You did mention that you went to visit the family of uh, your wife-to-be and you made some necessary payment of diaries and all the things that they say you bring. But we see some, cop some, some uh, young people today, they cohabit, they live together. And then they have children. After having maybe like two children or three children, this kind of people, everybody begin to call them uh, Oko Yahoo. Can we say that those people are married? No, that is not marriage. Cohabiting is not even the will of God. Yes. When you see it from the Bible, as uh, God created Adam, and uh, when he now created the if, that is, he removed, he granted a very sensibly to remove the rib, the rib yes. to make our form, uh, first mother. So with this, God has known fully well that uh, this very man had to exercise some little thing to have that very person. Yes. And uh, the consent of the two families is very important oh, yes. because uh, anyone that is going cohabiting yes. is more or less a kidnap the lady to yes. be in his place. Yes. And uh, the marriage of such, God do not uh, authorities and is not happy with it okay. and uh, all our children that are doing so today it is not a good thing okay. it is not a good thing you have heard from daddy with his experience with his age he has told us that it is not the right thing to do if you are cohabiting whether you have children or not it is not right it is not right in the sight of god because it is not the plan of god that any group of people or any party should cohabit. So, okay, Daddy, I want to ask one more question before we go. Um, what is your advice for the youth of today that are getting married in terms of doing it properly? Uh, the fear of God is what we have to be number one. Okay. When the fear of God is there, mm. and the home they are going is another one that is uh, everybody has to do everything according mm. To the lay down uh, rules and regulation for marriage okay thank you very much um you have heard uh, daddy it is very important that you have the fear of god in you if you want to get married you want to go into marriage you must have the fear of god in you really if you have the fear of god in you there are many things that a lot of people do in marriage they will be cautioned by that fear we are going to stop here today i want to appreciate all of you for watching I want to encourage you to continue to watch. If you have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button so that uh, whenever we do more videos like this, you can receive notice. And we also encourage you to share. Share the video, like the video. If you have comments to make, make comments. We will get back to you. I want to say thank you. Thank you, Daddy, God for making you. our time to be with us on thank this Thank you program. very much. It's a God will continue to strengthen you. Amen. And God will continue to be with you and your family and bless you beyond your expectation. Thank you very much. Thank you. So viewers, I say thank you and bye till we meet again. Bye.